Hey Virgo, it's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your love reading. So let's see what we have for you guys in love. This will be from June 27th through July the 4th. Please do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Only take the message if it resonates with you. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Hustle, and Venus. If you guys have a quick question and cannot wait for a personal reading with me, I am on Instant Go as Fire underscore Intuition. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. All right. Those of you who are interested in the $20 off, that information is in my community tab. Okay. So it's $20 off personal readings until, uh, I want to say until Sunday. Okay. Um, it's my anniversary promotion code. So again, all the information is in the community tab. All right. So Virgo, let's see what messages we have coming in for you guys in love. June the 27th through July the 4th. Alrighty. Um, this is going to be an overall love energy, and then I will hop into singles next. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have trust. This is the overall energy. So this is going to resonate with singles as well. And it says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. So maybe you guys just aren't trusting the situation. Uh, maybe someone isn't trusting you within the situation. Or maybe you're just trying to have faith within a new situation. All right. I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to say. So that's the overall energy for you guys. We have heart to heart conversations. And we have passion, okay? So it's someone that you're passionate about or someone that's passionate about you or like someone that you've been with. And it's like, I just feel like both you guys just need to open up, maybe have a heart to heart conversation and maybe trust each other or this is you debating if you should trust the situation again, okay? Now for my singles, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So I feel like something great is gonna come into your life, okay? Maybe the universe is preparing someone to come in, okay? That's gonna be worth this wait. Alrighty, so let's see what we got. Spirit of the Universe, can I please get some messages for the sign of Virgo? Sun, Moon, and Rising, also in Venus. June the 27th through July the 4th. Alright, Virgo, let's see what messages we have for you guys in love. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. So this could be a soulmate connection, okay? Someone that you have a soulmate connection with, okay? Maybe this person is coming back into your life. Maybe you want to go back into their life. Um, this could be a reconciliation between you guys. Maybe you're walking away from a soulmate. Maybe you're trying to get over the past, okay? I just see you kind of confused, especially with this trust card here and heart-to-heart -heart conversations, Okay? So, let's see what messages we have. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Hermit. That's your energy, Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. And we have Temperance, okay? All right, Virgo. So, it looks to me that you guys are kind of confused, okay? We do have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and we have the Three of Swords here, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel like this is a third-party situation, or you guys are just torn between two people, okay, Virgo? Um, and this can be a situation where both of the people are soulmates, and you feel connected to both of them, or one of these people are your soulmates, okay? And that's where you're confused. Because we have the Ace of Wands here, and the Six of Wands. We have the Hermit. So, just looking at the energy, some of you guys can be dealing with a Sagittarius in particular. Um, that there could be a reconciliation with. Or maybe a Sagittarius wants to reconcile with you. This is kind of your feelings and emotions being all over the place, though. Because um, we have Hermit, we have Temperance, okay? So, you're emotional about a situation, okay? Um... And then we have the hermit. So it's like you're going within. You're thinking about a relationship. You're thinking about reconciling a past relationship with the temperance card. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a fire sign in general, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have the Five of Swords, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now with this Five of Swords here, um, this is past energy. For some of you guys, you guys were dealing with someone in the past where um, a relationship ended. 
okay? I feel like you ended the relationship, but some of you guys, they could have ended the relationship with you. Now, I feel like this was kind of like a toxic toxic relationship. There was a lot of conflict and tension because we have the Six of Wands being here. So, I feel like when you met this person, you were, you know, really happy at first. And then you seen how they really were. Um, or maybe you guys just argued a lot within the relationship. And I feel like that person wants to come back and reconcile with you. And that's probably why you're in your head. Or that's why you're, you know, thinking about this relationship. Hermit mode, okay? Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So, definitely someone wants a new beginning. We have the Ace of Cups. So, it's like you have two offers and you don't know which way to go. Okay? And I'm feeling like this is you, Virgo. Or you can be dealing with someone who has two offers. Um, this Ace of Wands is that spiritual connection. So for some of you guys, one of the people, like I said, is your soulmate. Or you guys just have a connection. It could be a past life connection, you know, like a past life soulmate connection. Or this person is just your soulmate. But we have the Ace of Cups here as well. Okay? So there can be two offers. Now, for some of you guys, this was someone in your past that you walked away from. Okay? Five of Swords. And with the Six of Wands, you went into a new relationship. Okay, and as you went into this new relationship, you're like, okay, this is what I want. This is the person that I want to be with. You thought it through, hermit. This is you going to hermit mode, thinking it through. Now, for some of you guys, you feel like you made a mistake and you want to go back to a past situation. We have the Ace of Cups. You took this new love offer, and with the Ace of Wands, you want a new beginning, um, and you want to reconcile with somebody. Okay, or this is how someone feels about you, and it's someone that's someone that you have a lot of passion with or they have a lot of passion with you but i feel like this is like a passionate relationship where when both you guys are together it just you know it feels right okay but i just feel like at the time with the five of swords you guys were just going through a lot okay and now you want to reconcile or they want to reconcile someone definitely wants to reconcile the relationship back together okay um, all righty so let's see we got virgo Spirit of Universe, messages for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, also in Venus, June 27th through July the 4th in love. Uh -oh. I can't shuffle to save my life right now, Virgo. All right, so let's see what messages we got for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. Yeah, so I feel like this could have been you that ended the cycle with someone. All right, you ended a cycle with someone, you weren't happy in the relationship, and I feel like either, like I said, you want to go back to a situation or someone wants to come back to a situation with you. So let me clarify the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, now with the Ace of Wands, you guys could have definitely been dealing with a fire sign, Aries or Sag. We got fire on fire, okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups. It's a situation you walked away from a fire sign, okay, um... Our fire sign walked away from you, but I feel like you walked away from the fire sign because you guys, like, this is the fire sign. I feel like, you know, still standing tall, you know, still, you know, wanting the relationship to come back together, still kind of courageous, bold, passionate about the relationship. And then we have the Eight of Cups, so that would be you walking away from a situation. Now, with Ace of Cups, um, I feel like you ended this situation, maybe with a fire sign, any sign, okay? And you went towards wish fulfillment. You took this new Ace of Cups. Now, this Five of Pentacles here... Um, I feel like this relationship you are in, or you were in, yeah, it's like you took an offer from somebody, paid the pinnacles, okay? And with the high priestess, it's like you found certain things out about this person, there were secrets about this person, maybe this person was lying to you, and it's like you want to end that relationship and go back to a past relationship, are you just ready for new love to come in in general, okay? Why is a temperance card here? Yeah, see, you're in your feelings and your emotions right now, we have the two of swords. You, you're feeling stuck, you know, you have to make a decision. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, you feel like you made the wrong choice. That's why you're trying to blindfold it. And with the four of pinnacles, you're thinking like, maybe I should have held on to something from the past. That person from the past, should I hold on to this relationship? You know, so I feel like you guys are just kind of in your head, kind of torn. You don't know which way to go. You're like, should I stay with this new person? Should I go back to the past? You know, we have the six of wands. I feel like you guys just want to be happy overall. Yeah, see, with the six of wands, it's like you want the ten of cups. And for some of you guys, it is with the person from your past. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Five of Cups, and that's why you guys want to reconcile. Or this is them wanting to come back and reconcile with you after they walked away from you and just see a situation differently. Okay, so we have the Trust card here for the overall energy, and we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Emperor. For some of you guys, you guys could have been dealing with an Aries in particular or a Taurus, but you're just trying to trust the situation because there was manipulation, there was deception, okay? I feel like... um there was betrayal in this relationship and someone really wanted to break free i feel like you wanted to break free or maybe they wanted to break free from you someone wanted to break free 
okay someone was kind of controlling kind of demanding kind of on and off in the relationship um wanted to have their way their way or no way you know with the emperor and the seven of swords so it's like you're trying to you're it's like you're thinking to yourself should i trust going back to this person all right so now we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we have passion here okay um so with that we have the king of swords we have the six of rods with passion we have the sun and we have the king of cups all right so with heart-to-heart -heart conversations we have the king of swords okay you guys could have been dealing with an air sign um, you can have air in your chart they can have air in their chart but it's like someone is going to be straight to the point someone's going to be very honest in their feelings and how they feel and with the six of rods someone is going to, to express to someone you know how they made them feel in the past how they make them feel now six of rods so this might be just expressing to that person like you know what like you know i kind of have fears about coming back towards you you know i don't know if i trust the situation i love you you know, but in the past, this is how it was. You made me feel sad. You made me feel this kind of way. And, you know, I want to see where the relationship can go. But, you know, if we get back together and you're not going to make me happy or, you know, if I'm not going in this confident, then I don't know where I want it to go. So I feel like that's why some of you guys are kind of holding back, you know, going back on harmony mode, isolating yourself again from this situation. And then we have passion. We have the sun and the king of cups. So this is someone that you are happy with. Okay, we have the sun. It could have been a Leo. It could have been a water sign. Any sign. Someone that you were happy with. Someone that you wanted to grow a relationship with. But it's like, just as happy as they made you and just as much love as you have for this person, they kind of make you sad and they question your emotions and feelings with this passion card here. So there is passion between you guys. But this was just something that was questioned emotionally with the King of Cups being here. Okay? So that is that portion of the reading. Let's go ahead and hop over into the singles. All right, Virgo? All right, singles, so your overall energy was worth waiting for. And it says divine timing is at work in your love life. So I feel like something great is going to, you know, come out of this. All right, maybe it was worth waiting for this person to come back. Maybe it's worth waiting for someone new to come in. All right, so let's just see what messages we have for you singles. All right, Spirit Universe, please give me some messages for the sign of Virgo. Sun Moon Rising, also in Venus. Sorry about that, Virgos. All right, so this will be from June 24th through i'm sorry june 27th through july the 4th i'm sorry virgo so messages for my single virgo someone rising june the 27th through july the 4th in love okay again for my singles all right so at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of coins so maybe this is worth waiting for okay for some of you guys this is going to really lead to something else you know an engagement um maybe starting a family for some of you guys, you guys had a new job opportunity, and I feel like this new job opportunity that you're taking is going to put you in a place where you're ready to, you know, like start a family, start a marriage, you know, start building with someone, and it's going to be worth waiting for. So some of you guys could have been just going through something financially or just going through something in life in general, and this new opportunity is going to change your life for the better, you know, and shift you into that relationship that you want for some of you guys, okay? For some of you guys, this is coming back with someone and you guys building, or there's someone new coming into your life that wants to build with you. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, that's wish fulfillment. That's material happiness. Um, we have the five of pinnacles. We have the page of wands. And we have the high priestess. All right. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like this is someone new coming in. Okay. Someone new coming in for you. Um, we do have the four of swords. You guys are resting. You're retreating. You're actually getting out, meeting new people. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, so things finally turning in your favor, not being stuck. We have that Eight of Pentacles right here, so finance is even looking better. Okay, like I said, so for some of you guys, you guys were just stuck in a situation where you felt like you couldn't move at all in general. And we have the Nine of Cups. This is you guys coming out of that energy. You know, wish fulfillment, material happiness, being happy now, being content, you know, ready for love, ready to be happy with someone. Um, next to that, we have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like in the past, you guys took a financial loss, or when there was a breakup or a separation, um, you guys lost a lot. Okay, um, and this is you guys recovering, you know, coming back into your finances, you know, opening yourself back up to love, you know, not wanting to struggle or go through a hard time anymore in your love life. We do have the page of wands. So um, for some of you guys, you guys have been waiting for communication to come in from someone. And I feel like with the five of pentacles being here in the high priestess, it's like you're looking at the situation and you're like, okay, this person is not going to open up. You know, they're not going to communicate to me. So this is you guys moving forward, ready for a new beginning, ready for someone new to come in. And then we have the high priestess. So the high priestess is you just using your intuition about the whole situation, you know, seeing it for what it is. Because like I said, for some of you guys, you guys were waiting for someone to come in. And um, the high priestess also speaks about passion. You know, you just having passion. 
you know, you just being mysterious, just having passion, just, you know, ready for a new beginning, ready for something new, all right? Ready to take this, you know, this next step, okay? We do have work waiting for us, so let's see what we got. Spirit of the Universe, can I get some messages? Uh-oh. Told you I can't shuffle today, Virgo. For the sign of Virgo, singles. In love. June 27th through July the 4th. Alrighty, so at the bottom of the deck, look what we have, the four of wands. So this can definitely lead to marriage. This can be a long-term relationship. This is beautiful. We do have the worth waiting for a car, single, so yay. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this high priestess. Yeah, see, the high priestess, like I said, um, you guys were in a situation. There was a third party. And with the tower, there was a separation or there was a breakup, okay? And it's like you guys are accepting what happened. With the high priestess, that's why I said you're bringing your passion back. You're seeing that this foundation is ended. It's done with the three of swords. There's no new beginning. Um, for some of you guys, it's like you're going to you're gonna try to have a new beginning with this person or they might want to have a new beginning with you, but I just still see you being single and seeking someone new coming in, okay? Um, why is this nine of cups here? Yeah, see the nine of cups is like you've overcome things now. And it's like you found that inner strength. You're strong. So either a Leo or a Taurus can be coming in. Um, but if not, this is you just ready for a relationship. Okay? In the past, I feel like whoever you were with, you know, they weren't trying to keep the relationship together. Or maybe you just weren't trying. Someone wasn't trying. And I see a new commitment out of this with the higher fan. I see a marriage out of this. Okay? We have four wands and we have the world card. So this definitely can lead to long term. Definitely can lead to marriage. Okay? I just feel like with the seven of cups being here, some of you guys are just confused. Okay, you guys were in a love triangle. You guys were confused between two people. Or you guys were just confused in love. You made a choice. For some of you guys, you just decided to be single. And you just rather stay single and you're waiting for someone new to come in. All right, so we have worth waiting for. And with that, we have the eight of wands. We have the four of cups. We have the will of fortune. So for some of you guys, you're, you have someone new coming in. Or someone lives at a distance from you. You've been talking to someone online. Um, you've been traveling to this person. They've been traveling to you. Or you're going to travel to this person. Or they're going to travel to you. And you're going to accept their love or they're going to accept your love. This is like new love showing up. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is like life cycles. So this person meant to be in your life at this time. So I just see beautiful energy with this because it says worth waiting for. So it's like everything you went through in your love life or everything you experienced financially, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically. I just feel like everything is going to turn out for the better because you're getting wish fulfillment. You're getting material happiness. You're getting new love, a commitment, something that can lead into marriage. And you're coming out of a karmic cycle with someone or just out of a karmic cycle in general. All right, Virgo, so that is your love reading for the um, week of June 27th through July the 4th. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. I love you, Virgo. Talk to you later. Bye.